What's going on, ladies and gents? Ramona Sclaver here. Just want to share some trading advice. Uh, something that I'm using now. I did some research on it. I used to use Ichimoku, Ichimoku Cloud before, but I'm going to start using it more often now. Uh, as you can see, it predicts sort of where the coin's going to go. There's no guarantee. But I'm also using it with the Fisher Transform indicator. This is a phenomenal tool right here. I wish I would have known about this before. Uh, it's great because it shows you where the coin is going, how far it's stretching. When you see a big stretch like this here, this tells you it's going to be a huge bounce back, okay? So you get a little bit of blue here. Look at this one here. Huge stretch here. And usually, and what I like to do is, this is 0% line, which is dead center. This is this blue line. It's kind of small. I might I have to make it a little bigger. But this will tell you. Let me go ahead and open this up really quickly. I love this, ladies and gents. Oh, let me go back down. Sorry about that. We gotta open this up. See, now this is the this actual Fisher Transform. You can see and where the coin has been going. Okay. So obviously this is being oversold. This is being overbought, and vice versa. And these are Bollinger bands in between them. Okay, these are Bollinger bands. It tells you the volume, the type of volume. When you saw this massive sale here, you knew there was going to be a bounce back, okay? You knew, you just knew. It was way too far down. Uh, number one, it was way, way, way oversold. So what what happened? Bang, it bounced back. So imagine you would have been, been able to sell knowing, I mean, excuse me, buy, knowing that it was going to go up. See, this tool is phenomenal. It's called the Fisher Transform. Check it out on TradingView. It is awesome. Uh, like right now, you can see where the coin is going. I mean, I don't have to tell you. You can see, well, you can see possibly where the coin is going to go. Uh, and obviously, there's a real faint, but you can barely see it. But there are two different lines. There's a red one and a blue one, okay? There's a red, as you can see, this red line here. Excuse me, the red and green. The red and green lines are real close together. They're almost parallel. But when you start seeing this here, it just moved again. You already know it's going up. Now, how high are these going to go? How high is the market going to go? If you scroll back, right, and you look at where the coin's averaging when it does boom up, ladies and gentlemen, it's right around this area right here, right where I got this cursor is where it's probably going to go, most likely. If it goes a little higher, so be it. So you sold a little early, not too bad. But, ladies and gentlemen, look at the indicator. It's telling you this green line shot over the red. If the if the green line continues to go over the red, that's definitely being it's being over, obviously. Eventually, it's going to be oversold. And then once the red line crosses over, as, as you can see here, the red line passes the green. And real faint, I know it is. Let me open this up. Maybe you can see it now. See how the red crossed over the green? What happened? It sold. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. When the green crossed over, okay, green crossed over right here, the red, and it's starting to go up, and it passed the 0% marker, this is where you're going to want to sell. I'm going to sell anyway, my whole stack, when it gets right around this area here. Once these green dots reach right around, when green candles reach right around this area here, is when I'm putting my sale in, at 0 0.39 marker, okay, if this is the marker here, this is the 0, so around 0 0.39, close to the 0 0.5 marker on the Fisher Transform. Is when I'm putting my sale in, okay? This is what I'm doing. Now, again, this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. I think this is a phenomenal tool to use. I'm going to go ahead and close this down and show you how that looks like. And if you can see here, even on the Ichimichu Cloud, you can see this green line. It's best to buy when this green line crosses the red line, okay? And then you'll see a green cloud like this. And when this green line crosses the red line, which they did here, okay, you would have bought... Okay, so this this is what it would have looked like. You would have bought here, you would have sold here. Okay, and then you knew that there was going to be some selling happening. Okay, because remember, these candles weren't here when this cloud was here. So again, it's, as you can see, there's no candles here. So it would have been no candles here at that time. And you knew that red was coming. You knew there was going to be some sale. You could have put your sale, uh, sold all your coins after you got this big pump here. And then you would have rolled it out. Rolled it out because this is what you'd have been seeing. And now guess what you're seeing now? You're going to see, it looks like the green, it's a possible chance it's going to be crossing over the red. So uh, this is a possible, possibly a good time to to uh, wait, wait it out because the candles here are telling me so. And I'm going to wait for them to grow just a little bit more. I know we have a small little red showing in that candle. 
excuse me, but this is the hour time chart. Remember, this is the one hour time chart. This is the reason why I am not selling. I'm waiting for it to go up. Uh, this is a one hour time slot. Now, if you originally bought uh, XLM uh, back when it was at 0 0.5, it was a little lower than this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it was a little lower than this at the time that, that uh, I made that first video. Uh, I believe it's going to go up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, you're going to see all this play out. So again, Fisher Transform, Ichimoku Cloud. Uh, and then it's going to hopefully, hopefully this green, once this green line crosses over that red, well, Ichimoku Cloud will show you a green cloud. Once it shows you that green cloud there, and this all pans out. So first, I'm going to sell. So it might, I'm waiting for this to go up. Right around the 0 0.569, right around that area, right right here. Because you can see it's been here many times. One, two, and if you keep scrolling back, three, four, five. See, see these big volume pumps here? I'm waiting for that last volume pump, which is going to happen right around this range here. 0 0.569 range, 0 0.439, right around that range there is when I'm going to go ahead and dump all my package and then wait for it to what drop down ladies and gentlemen and it get like this okay when i see the bollinger bands stretch like this that's when i put my buy order in and then watch it do it over and over again just a simple indication two simple indicators that i'm going to start using from now on uh i've done some research past two days and i'll tell you the the, the if you can follow this correctly i mean it's not 100 percent like anything else but you could possibly come out on top a majority of the time so if you, if you can win 80% of the time by following this method, it's a win-win, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, I'm not sure yet. Again, I haven't, I'm doing it now for the first time. So this is me, my first time trading this way. And I'll, I'll definitely uh, update you when the time comes, okay? Because if you can sell high and know it's going to drop, you, you know, if you know it's going to drop, that's where you want to put your sell order. Am I right? Yes. Look at this. It just turned another green candle. See that turned green. So again, if this green goes over that red, that means this will these bars are going to continue to grow. Okay? And when it gets to overstretched and right around this range here is when I'm putting my sell order. Uh ladies and gentlemen, and then wait for it to drop down, okay? And then buy back, okay? When it gets around this range here. So the buyback, my buyback, they're not really pulling too far back. My buyback on a on a Fisher Transform it's going to be around 0 0.48, 0 0.483, 0 0.483752 is where I'm putting my buy order in on the Fisher Transform 2 indicator, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when that reaches down. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on this and have to keep an eye on this, uh, and we'll go from there. Other than that, that's all I wanted to share. Phenomenal stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. I love these tools. Oh, I just did some research on it, hours and hours and hours of videos, and I'll tell you, it looks promising. Very promising. That's all I want to share with you today. Today, take care. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Wonderful weekend. And I'll uh, definitely update you guys. If this happens quicker than, than, than sooner, I will definitely update you before that. But if not, Monday probably I'll come out with another video and show you my actual profits or losses from trading this way. Take care now. Bye-bye.